God bless you guys. Thank you to everyone who's been watching regularly. I know people have been asking me, how come I haven't put out a video in a couple weeks? Well, God's been moving. He's been working in me. But I was ministering on TikTok the other night and someone asked me, how do I know that the seed in me is good? How do I know that I'm a good seed and not a seed that's fallen by the wayside? The first thing I would say is, are you bearing fruit? Right? How do you know that the seed in you is good? Is your life bearing fruit? What do I mean by fruit? I mean the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, long-suffering, right? Patience, mercy. Is your life bearing fruit? Or are you bearing the fruit of the flesh? Anger, wrath, right? Malice, jealousy, contentions, strife. All of those are fruits of the flesh found in Galatians 5. When there is a good seed in you, right, you will bear fruit. When you go through a situation where normally in the past you would have gotten angry and you would have, you know, lashed out in wrath at that person, right, at your parents or at your children because they're annoying you, but now you have the Holy Spirit in you. Now you bear bear the fruit of peace and of long suffering. So number one in how you know you know that the seed in you is good is are you bearing fruit? When you look at the fruit of your life, are you bearing fruit? Do you have the patience to wait in that long line and just sing hymns and praises to God because you know that in your life you bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit? no matter what, in all situations, right? But it's okay. God's going to put us through tests. We're going to go through some trials and some challenges, and we're not perfect. We rely upon His grace, but we should bear fruit that leads others onto Jesus. Number two, I would say, are you following God's commands? Are you submitting to what the Holy Spirit is leading you to do in this season and in all seasons, right? How do we know that we know him? First John 2 says, by this we know that we know him if we follow God's commands. If anyone says that they know Jesus and they don't follow God's commands, the truth is not in him and they are a liar. So are you following God's commands? When you have the move of the Holy Spirit upon your life, God speaks to you. He tells you to do something. You know, God is leading you in a certain way. You know, he's leading you to speak to someone. He's leading you to reach out and give a God bless you to someone. Are you submitting to the will of the Holy Spirit in your life? Or are you carrying out your own will? Are you doing everything that you want to do, right? Selfish ambitions, the pride of life, or are you truly submitting to God's will for your life? life. Number three, can other people see Jesus in you, right? They should see Jesus in you. And some people are going to see that light and they're going to receive it. It's going to be so sweet to their soul. You're going to be like that sweet smelling aroma that they've just waited for their whole life. Others are just going to be curious. They're going to want to know what's up with you because you bear the fruit of God and it's going to be an open door to share Jesus. And others, they're going to see Jesus in you. They're going to know Jesus is in you and they're going to hate you for that because not everyone like Jesus, right? They're going to hate you. They may just hate when you even speak. You just speak the word of God. You share a God bless you and they're just already have hatred for you in their heart because they don't like the fruit of righteousness. They don't like the fruit of holiness and the fruit of peace because they have evil inside of them. That's okay, right? We pray for those people. We know God is working and moving in them. But those are three things that I would give you on how you know whether or not your life is bearing fruit, whether you are the good seed on that good soil or you're the seed that's left on the wayside. This is why we should examine ourselves. The Bible says multiple times, examine yourself, consider your ways. So we look at ourselves instead of looking unto others. We always look at ourselves and our own lives and see are we bearing the fruit of righteousness and holiness that leads to life? <laughs>
God bless you guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting by hitting the like button. I really appreciate that. Thanks to everyone who goes through these videos. Lots of new content coming out, content on the world, what's happening in the world, and all bringing it back to the Word of God, the Bible. God bless you.